Hello everybody, this is Andy Comics Spotlight, here to throw a spotlight on Andy Comics news and reviews, right? Alright, so today, this is Core's Land by Caliber Comics, written by Marcelo Bondi, um, drawn and lettered and colored by Aliciano Imperial. I'm, if I butchered your name, I suck and I apologize um an Italian uh Titan creative team um and in fact so Italian uh English translators um Caliber Comics is a really cool company in my opinion um not enough people talk about them because you get good graphic novels for a good price 20 bucks um if you look, it says, like, in the tradition of Conan the Barbarian comes a sword and sorcery adventure for the ages. Um, this is definitely what it feels like, or it tries to feel like, uh, is a Conan story. Which, if you like Conan, you're gonna like it. Maybe. Um, I will talk about the story. And then why there's that uh, that key maybe um, cover art is amazing, and the cover art was done by Alessandro Manzella, not who did the interiors. All right. Um, premises Koi uh, is pretty much taken over this world. Um, you know, long ago, uh, time of a uh, turmoil. My if my phone doesn't adjust everything, that's all right. I'm sorry. Um, as you see, it looks amazing. But core, essentially cool ass fucking design. Uh, bad guy tyrant um, got magic powers, and uh, anything Conan related. Uh, snake people, lizard people are the bad guys always. Um, he got he got lizard people. Right? That's just how you know he's bad um two pages you get a good introduction um of how he came to be and how he basically uh took over All right two pages introduction for the villain awesome all right and then you introduce the heroes um the heroes are essentially they got their own uh Moses tail of um basket down the river uh, except they were picked up by monks and trained and here's the uh, the three heroes we got um Sam Gabe and Joe <laughs> Sam Gabe and Joe you have Coy cool cool name um, you got a lot of other cool names, uh, that sound like it would be in the world of Conan. Um, again, it's not a Conan book. But then you got Sam, Joe, and Gabe. Some, some generic white guy names. But, you know, uh, basically, Core attacked the monastery, um, all the monks died, and, uh, they just want to, you know, kill the tyrant. It's a basic enough story. Um, works really well. Um, as you see, the art is fantastic. The colors are really good. Um, but I, I will say it's, it's a story that feels like if you gave M. Night Shyamalan Conan, right? Would would you really want M Night Shyamalan to do Conan? Cause M Night, um, some issues I did have with it is like the first two battle scenes, right? I mean, the again the art still looks gorgeous, but it's all in this like faded blue outs, um, uh, dulled out colors, which it doesn't seem like. The fight's happening. It seems like a flashback, but it's not. 
And here's the crazy thing. It happens in the first two fights. And there's a lot of fights. And then, that's so why I have sticky notes. Especially for a good graphic novel. Then you have, like, cooler, in-colored, rendered fights. And just this gorgeous scene of, like, swinging of uh, the sword, the decapitation, and just, like, the blood going through. Oh, this is... I mean, this is gorgeous, right? Just pure gorgeous. Um, like, the ending, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but... <sighs> Alright, so, again, it, it has this sword, sorcery, fantasy world um, going on. Uh, it accelerates action at the end when the tyrant uh, core finally gets involved. And then that's when the In Night Shyamalan part happens in like the last eight, ten pages or so. Um, a twist happens. And what would have been a really, really good to great story with some great art. It leaves that, you know, that, that bitter, t like that bitterness, right? Like a lot of M. Night Shyamalan movies, like, oh, the village, uh, it's secretly just a cult in the park. Crazy, you know, it's like weird, like, why, why, I feel like a waste of time. Um, I, doesn't feel like a waste of time, but it comes very close to almost why you should have just, the, you should have ended it where it ended. Without the twist. I think that would have been a huge, like, oh, impact, right? Um, instead, uh, it has, like, a, a, a twist that kind of doesn't have a lot of build-up, which is a weakness, in my opinion. Because um, I reread this twice. Um, so I read it three times altogether, right? Um, there's not a lot of... Uh, hints or subtlety to lead to that twist um like at all it, it it's left field M. Night Shyamalan twist so because of that um again if you want to just look at the art the art is amazing um the story is pretty good uh if you like it if you like Conan, um, and you want something that's not Conan, you can get it. Um, you can ask your local comic book store to order it, or you can go to Caliber Comics' website and order it. Um, and I will provide, uh, links below. This has been my spotlight. Thanks.